It's hard to believe that Inatut could kill that card. Eloy, this is it. My chance to reunite with the spirit, and perhaps to reunite her with the blue light. It's not a chance I would have had alone. I needed an outsider. Someone ignorant of our ways, but... No, not ignorant. I... Are you trying to thank me, Aurea? Yes, of course. That's what you do. Untangle knots. Create possibilities. Thank you for making this pilgrimage possible. I only wish it had not been necessary to humiliate Aratok. You were wise to let him come. He's earned the right, stubborn as stone, but he's had to be. The war demanded it. And so have I. Aratok told me you were a captive of the Karja for a long time. It sounded bad. For Aratok, it all comes back to that. He thinks the Karja changed me. They did not. They merely sharpened my focus. When all else is lost, you think about what's truly important. The spirit. The blue light. The beyond. <sighs> and my brother, too. Every time I felt the chill northern wind, I thought of him, worried for him. What did the war do to Aratok? He cut away everything until only his true self remained. Unyielding ice. No Banuk has more sheer will. He fought the Karja for a thousand freezing nights, yet always rallied his hunters at sunrise. It is said he endured 23 wounds in those years. His hunters counted them. He never complains of one. Instead, he complains that life with me is harder. He's right. What have I ever given him but struggle? Now that I'm chieftain of the Werak, I don't suppose I can order you to tell me about silence? Aratak would never have presumed to grasp for a secret of the Conclave, but you are not Aratak, and if you have dealt with silence, your need is well apparent. Silence came to Bon Or from the distant north. A young shaman of the Owl's Watch. A remote Warrick that rarely comes south to parley. Silence was a shaman. He was. Or at least, when we sent runners to ask the Owl's Watch, they said he was. His knowledge of the machines was beyond compare, and he was hungry to trade what he knew to the rest of us. It didn't take him long to gain the trust of the Conclave, and eventually, an invitation to attend. What about you? Did you trust him? No. But he impressed me. He carried himself with poise and authority. I wanted to learn from him, but that was not to be. He was granted knowledge of our most sacred meeting place, the frozen caves of the Malmstrom, a month's march from Banur. 
He met with us there, as is custom at high winter. But when we next returned, the caves had been looted. Relics of the old world stolen. Holes cut in ice and metal. Yeah, that'd be silence, all right. He vanished with the spoils. We sent our best trackers after him. None returned. And when we checked back with the Owl's Watch, those who had vouched for him were gone. As though he never existed. Some in the Conclave began to doubt he was even Banuk to begin with. And what do you think? He committed an unforgivable sacrilege. He's unscrupulous and dangerous. But also brilliant, skilled, and knowledgeable without equal. Except, perhaps, for you. Anyone else I would warn off, but you may be able to treat with him safely. Just don't lower your guard. I'll keep that in mind, Horea. Thanks. What are we going to find up there, Rhea? Ruins. Machines. And a door, like that of a cauldron. I have faith that you can find a way through it, Aloy. For beyond it lies the spirit. I know I can find her there. Though I do not doubt the daemon has tried to hide the way. Are you ready, then? Once we ascend, it will be hard to turn back. Finally, we ascend. How? I don't see a way up. Not up. Through. No, brother! You can call upon the power of the old ones. What was this place? The spirit once told me that this all used to be part of its domain. A fortress that defended humankind from a terrible danger. Fortress? It looks more like a machine. Is that not fitting? The blue light often dwells in machines. Well, let's just hope that some remains here. Metal pillars, tall as Benure's cliffs. I still don't like it. Here, up and over.
Machines. At least we have the drop on them. So they woke up. and our path will become clear. We can make our way upwards when you're done, Eloy. Full already. Pace is measured, ours is measured. Yes, this way. Not much farther now. There's an overlook above. It's not far. Last we were here, we fought our way through there. But machines overcame us. We retreated, dropping supplies and taking losses. Now we must prevail, with only two warriors and a shaman to protect. Aloy is no ordinary warrior. And I can hold my own. Even so, we could go that way instead. There are machines up there, but also cover. We could stay hidden, at least for a while. All right, I get the options. Now follow my lead. Pipes, towers, steam, frost. 
What was all this for? I went this way years ago, looking for cover in case machines came prowling. I have no doubt that it is guarded now, but we may be able to stay hidden. Not all threats can be seen at first. Beware, stalkers. Stay down as we move through. Got too much already. Fascinating, if they weren't looking for me. Trip to mine. Great to go.
There's a door up ahead and refuge. We're almost through. Huh? Is this a projector? Thank you for being here, everyone. I suppose it's not every day you get to have cocktails inside an active volcano, right? <laughs> Unless you're George, and I can hardly blame him for drinking on the job. <laughs> None of this would be here without our beloved director. Kenny Chow. So, here's to you, Kenny. <laughs> you put a cork in the Yellowstone Caldera. <laughs> I'd say you deserve a margarita. <laughs> Hold your glasses, everyone. I'd like to add something. This effort wouldn't have been possible without our lead programmer. Thank you, Anita, for bringing us our real mastermind, Cyan. I'll second that, Director Chow. All right, Cyan, what's our latest number? The current count is 1,654. <laughs> well, then drink up, everyone. Here's to 1,654 more years without an eruption. <laughs> It was the spirit with the old ones. I could only grasp some of what they said. You were right, Aurea. This place was built to stop something terrible. And it worked, as for the spirit. I'm starting to get an idea of what it could be. The door is open now. We can get through. We'll have to carve through a lot of machines to get to that door. More than the Warak could prevail against before. Aloy will see us through. Onward, then. Our challenge awaits.
Move in. More machines. Make ready. songs of deeds, but that battle was a verse worth singing. And now, Aloy, the door. Can you open it? Let's find out.
Years have passed since I stood here. Since then, the daemon has... ...taken over. It's like an infection. Attacking all this machinery. Everything has changed. It's twisted. The path I took to get to the spirits... ...lost to us. We'll find a new path, Araya. I promise. All right. Let's go. Yes. And finish this.